Who wants to be basic when you can be otherwise? I know that sounds cringy, but it's true. Your basics don't have to be boring. And that's basically what I'm going to be showing you in this video. Hopefully through all of that, it will show you what you can also do. For me, basics are important because they are the foundation to an outfit. It makes it easier to build. It makes it easier to add dress for any occasion with what you already have, which is the key thing to sustainability making what you have go a long way and it means also for every event you don't have to worry about what am i wearing what should i wear so i'm gonna jump straight into it and of course we're going to start with camis your camis can be as simple as you want so i am going to give a tip which is pay attention to materials like satin something with a bit of lace pay attention to the structure of the neckline I prefer square necks. I find that they flatter my boobs more. I have really large boobs, so cleavage is not really a thing I go for if I can avoid it. I love lace, but when I do my lace on my camis, I prefer it to sit quite high so that again, I don't have anything interrupting the lace detail, which is what you can see with this cami. I prefer my camis to be adjustable on the strap because then I'm in control of how low how high they are depending on the outfit i want that much control for me i have my camis in the essential colors which are black and the cream one i actually got on depop and now that i have it i can see why the person sold it basically if i'm wearing it by itself as in nothing is covering my arms the beads scratch makes for an uncomfortable wear i can see why they sold it for me it's not a deal breaker because there's so much detail and it's beautiful most of the time wear it with something that is like a blazer or something that's covering my arm so it's not a big 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 deal it's a shame but these are lessons learned from shopping online and shopping on depop you can you need to look at the garments properly if i had asked you probably wouldn't have told me but yeah lessons learned but i will be keeping this and loving it because there's so much else i can do with it because it's a great color it's buildable and you probably have seen it so many times on my channel me wearing it with other things your camis have your satin blacks viscose material with the beads on top but it's in white so that's really good and then once you have that nailed down you can start to add color I have a green one. It's random, but it works really well because shockingly enough, I have a lot of green things in my wardrobe, <laughs> as you're going to see as we go in this video. I have a dress that's green. I have a top that's green. It's a very, very nice color on my skin tone. So yeah. Secondly, on basics, for me, it's t-shirts t-shirts can be comfy all those things are some of the reasons why people love t-shirts and they just work honestly if you wear a t-shirt chuck on jewelry put a blazer on it's a ready-made outfit for you some t-shirts can be printed and some people like that you can put a message across all those things are wonderful but if you're looking to elevate mm, take it up a notch this is what you can do for example voila i bought this like this I got it from litchi i did a good review on litchi and you guys are loving it you're loving that video if you want to watch it in more detail i'm gonna link it for you this was one of the items there and i love this the quality is beautiful 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 i don't say that about everything on this channel but this is really nice and the fact that it has this chain which actually in the video i said it's not detachable it is detachable delicate way it comes off so that if you have big hair and don't want to mess it up then i remove the chain put the top on and then put the chain back on but it's a great color because it's like a pinky brown it's really complementary to my skin tone it's really complementary to my current wardrobe because everything works with these tones of colors it's great quality again quality is a big 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 factor for having great foundations having great basics because you do not want to keep buying basics all the time and a big thing about quality is it holds 
holds value. By holding value, if you decide you want to sell it on Depop, on Vinted, or on Facebook Marketplace, or even if you want to gift it, it's still in great condition and you still feel happy to sell it on to somebody else. This for me is an elevated t-shirt. You know, how often do you see something with a detachable chain and the chain, I don't normally do silver, but this is working so well. The tone is great. The fit is very, very comfy. If you want to take an extra level up, I have padded shoulders t-shirts. They come in so many colors. I got a green one and I also have a white one. Other t-shirts that I have, Black Lives Matter one, a white one, but I didn't want to show that because that's quite basic. Although it's good, it's got a print on it. These have a bit more detail, have something a little bit quirky to them. Pay attention to those details because they will help to just make you look a little bit more oomphed up when you're putting on your basics together. And then when you couple with good jewelry, good hair, good makeup, good accessories like a bag, your shoes, all these little details will stand out overall. Second to last is dresses dresses and maxi dresses have made this elevated showcase slip dresses i have this green once again this green slip dress which has button down the exposed buttons you go running down at the front it's a satin material it's a great fit the straps are adjustable the slit is right at the front in the middle you can do so much with it you can add a belt a blazer you can wear something inside and then put the dress on top you can wear tight you can wear boots you can wear pumps you can wear heels you can dress it casual you can dress it smart you can dress it to the office it's so versatile but the key thing is the material because that's what will you know allow it to go through many doors the maxi dress that I have in knitwear is just a gray knitwear but the key thing is good quality it has a cutout at the front now I know that may not be for everybody I included it so that I can say pay attention to such details now that dress is from naked from their sustainable organic cotton range I think it was it's great for layering it's also a halter neck so it makes it easier to layer because you don't have to pad up so much material around your arm you know when you've layered too much or when you've layered thick materials your movement is restricted and it's really uncomfortable we don't want that and that's why I love halter necks and halter neck on a dress gives so much playroom to layer the cut is not to everybody's taste but sometimes personally when I'm not feeling to show you a bit of skin too much I wear a lace bodysuit inside and a black one and then put the dress on and it looks so cute it looks so chic if it bothers you so much but you still like the dress you can look for other styles i know naked had a similar material not cut out but it had padded shoulders so all those things you can look out for because they will really help to elevate your look last but not least is outerwear now outerwear you can go texture print pattern i have this blazer i just want to show you because i have so much else but i don't want this to be long but this blazer for me is a great example of an elevated basic i think the rule that um have your black blazer your check blazer your gray blazer I think it depends on the industry you work in, your lifestyle, what you're doing, how how you prefer your wardrobe. And this blazer is not black, it's not grey, it's cream. It's checked, it's a classic look, it's double breasted. But look at the shoulders, the shoulders have so much volume. And for me, that is everything. Those are the kind of details I would look for when I finished getting the classic shapes. To be honest, this can also be a classic, but once again, an elevated classic because of the shoulders is just your standard blazer material. It's great quality though, but that's important. You want your blazer to be good quality, to hold shape, to last through several washes. This is from Gertsu. I think they're Norwegian or Danish brand. 
one of the two i'm not sure basically they deliver it on quality and quirkiness and that's where i got this is my second blazer from them after i tasted them for another blazer it's not elevated basic enough it's just a classic blazer so it didn't make it into this showcase pay attention to little details that will overall stand out when you piece everything together that way then your wardrobe is ready for whatever occasion oh that i had put together for you today let me know in the comments what you think what's your favorite what do you love about the basics don't forget to follow me on instagram because i'm most active there you get to see me do silly stuff yeah until next time stay safe